Yet again, Android fans, here we are with another Cool Loser Tech video. And in this segment, I'm going to show you guys little software applications to run otherwise than, than your normal stock uh, Android launcher. And I'm even running ADW, and I have a whole bunch of different little things I can show you that uh, are not ADW. It could replace your home screen. Now, here we'll go to uh, this one. This is my normal one that I show you guys for my videos now. Um, if I ever run into a new one, I will definitely be posting for this is what's hot right now for me. And uh, it's called Ultimate Faves Pro. And these are the applications I'm going to show you guys quite a lot. I'm not going to go completely detailed, but you can definitely check it out yourself. Um, landed on that. I'll just go off of that. Now here is a note everything. This application is uh, pretty good because you can know all your uh, notes if you want to do. Uh, anything you type in you do a new note you can do a uh, let's see get this focus a uh, text note you can do a paint note voice note uh, note from barcode note from Google Docs it is really cool it's all works it's free on the market it's a very beautiful thing uh, it's very handy comes in handy for me instead of a like, word you don't have a pen or pencil just definitely come here you can do the voice yeah and you can always go back and it's right there and now here uh, this way shoot me if your phone is rooted and people who know what, what rooted is uh, shoot me is a, sc a screen taker where it'll take a shot of uh, your screen and here it says I have it set for a noise and it'll take pictures um, I'm gonna shout hey I just took a picture of my screen and I can go to the picture and see it uh, in the in your normal photo albums and it'll see exactly the screen that I just took. It's pretty cool. It's still on and I can keep and hearing and taking pictures as I'm talking right now. So let's see if I can disable that real quick. All right, cool. Cool. So there is whatever you know can have it, you can disable it and take pictures. Unified remote. You guys have any uh, laptop or computers? This is definitely really really handy. It is uh Instead of using your mouse, you can use your phone for uh, any Windows type of uh, media. You got your Explorer, you can go uh, Spotify, Task Switcher, Windows Mobile, Player, uh, Media Center, Keyboard, Sentex, Mouse, Multi-Touch, Single, Power. You can go into your hard drive and just look at stuff on your phone and manage uh, what you see on your on your computer without you touching your mouse or your computer. Really cool. Try it out. It's free. TweetDeck, this is where I look up all my Facebook stuff, all my tweets that I do every day. Uh, I like it. It shows just, I like it. I have it for the, the I have TweetDark, it's called TweetDark, but the normal one is called TweetDeck. This is just an enhanced version of some developer who made it a little bit darker because usually when they have a Facebook one, they'll have a, uh, a a blue icon and if it's a Twitter it'd have red and if it's like a uh, different different one it'll just show different kinds like here you can put a uh, Twitter you can add Foursquare Facebook and Google Buzz and it'll integrate all of them into one as you've seen in here and then it's really cool because you can go this tweet deck I definitely use this a lot every day there's that and I showed you guys that video this you screen I'm gonna show you guys this for the last one uh, Swift key Swift key is an awesome replacement um, uh, keyboard if I want to go in here let's see open oh let's press back open that and I'll go here and this is what Swift key keyboard looks like here I like this because if I want to type uh, something it is very very fast like if, if I already typed it before it'll definitely recognize it and be able to spell it let's say I'm not gonna make it I'm gonna start with I'm and it says right there not gonna make it now see I, I only pushed maybe about five times to spell all that and I can I can do something else like say hey what are you doing hey what are you doing? And that's it. I just quickly press those buttons and then 
are doing tonight. <laughs> the way I talked to some of my friends. You didn't see that. Nobody saw that. Well, that, that's just what um, Swift Key is. It recognizes, it learns how you type, learns how you text, and definitely keeps track of how you do everything. And that's my bird in the background being really annoying today. I don't know why. Um, Swift Key. I love it. I bought it. I don't use anything else. It's way faster to swipe. I like it way better than swipe. Weather forecast. Weather forecast is uh, is this what you're looking at right here? This is my weather forecast. Oh, sorry guys. Um, here we go. Weather forecast five fifty two is the time when I got here, and it's a widget, and it comes with um, little cool little touch spots that you can do up here. If I touch the right corner, it brings up my note everything. Uh, I go to this side and brings up my my GPS. If I touch down here, it brings me to my weather forecast pretty cool. I like it. Uh, don't use anything other than that. It's called Weather Forecast and you can find it on the market. It's free. Uh, Chrome to phone. This is very handy. If you have a PC, um, you're on the the Chrome user explorer for the internet, you will definitely be able to send anything that you're looking at on your computer and transfer it to, right to your phone and it goes right to it. There's no action to it other than you have to send your link from your phone. You don't even have to type anything. Just be on a web page and it will send it directly to your phone and your phone will automatically bring it up. You don't have to do nothing. Your phone will just automatically work itself. File manager. Um, a lot of people don't have uh, like a little folder to see where all your stuff is saved at. Um, this is definitely a, pl a place to check out where all your, your SD card, what's saved on there, your inside stuff. Uh, for how your phone is running. Really good. It's easy. Um, a lot of people don't know that you can do this. Like a lot of people have games saved and they still have catches or uh, data that they don't want and you can go in here and mess with them and delete them. Uh, handset. A lot of people know about Handset. Um, I use Handset because it has a little pop-up. Um, you can disable it. It can be anywhere. You can turn off your screen and when your screen turns on it will pop up the little icon just kind of like the iPhone, the iPhone you know how they pop up in the middle of the screen it's just like that and you can highly customize everything on this with any you can do new hands um, let's see new fonts every color you can imagine you can do bubbles you can do just normal setting I mean it has lots of settings thousands of settings, settings for you to do it I love handset I'll never use anything other than that lookout is a security um, measure of uh, it shows you where your phone is at in case you lose it you can send a text and it'll actually uh, make your phone sound out and let you know where it's at and if you install applications this will um, show you uh, if, if it's protected if there's a virus or if it's a problem with it it'll tell you and, uh, it, and whatever you do on it this thing will always be on and it'll do everything now tickle Tickle Touch, this is a pretty cool program. It is, uh, if you have friends who have an Android phone, um, you could t um, talk to them. Let's see if I push this button right here. It sends to the last person that I was talking to. And uh, I hold it right here, and maybe she can hear me right now. I don't know. But uh, she gets talking right back, and it just goes through your data. There's no minutes used, no text messages used, just straight up talking. Uh, walkie-talkie style and it's very awesome really cool I definitely recommend this uh, she's not on right now um, and then there's this last one right here the pink one I wanted to show you guys sorry it's getting long I'm trying to get through everything real quick for you guys I'm trying to do all the applications for you guys to like and be able to use and love your Android a lot more okay, I gotta shut up now uh, life now this is the biggest home replacement that I've noticed that could possibly re make me switch away from ADW but I this just not for me right now and but it's really cool check this out so it uses uh, here's a uh, the home screen and this is what it does this is the home screen. you could set uh, widgets up here you can put more icons up here now this is a pretty cool little cool thing um, it's like a little dialer right here you move through your phone and it shows you your last phone contacts you see how that happened if I go to my contacts as well, it'll bring up my contacts of uh, all my guys right there. You saw that. Um, I have Facebook. 
I am actually logged on and everything. It's uh, now taking data, and I haven't been on it for a while, so that's why it's loading, taking a little time to load. And it shows all your friends' feeds, the statuses, and everything what they post. Pretty cool thing. Here's a uh, Twitter. And if you have a Twitter, definitely uh, it'll do the same thing. It's, it's downloading data because uh, I haven't been on it, and it's making sure I get it. I'm sure it'll make it a lot better and faster, but this is like just in the beta form, I think. And it shows everything again. And uh, YouTube, you can go to YouTube. Your music, it'll show all your music list. Right there you go. Music. Uh, calendar, it'll show what's what's coming up. Uh, it's almost Thanksgiving, guys. Uh, goes back through everything. And then it goes through your settings. You see, I, I love how it does those little slide ups like that. And another cool thing, it's an 11 minute video, I gotta cut this real easy. Uh, let's go back, and then I can swipe to the right, and it brings up to the left side. And here's a little bit more options that you got going on here. And then you got your applications. Uh, you can um, slide up, and it has a little kind of cube 3D effect. Pretty cool. I mean, it's a lot of cool application that Android is coming out. It is making everything hot, making everything customizable. I love Android because I've opened uh, source just like this. So that's a little taste of this um, home replacement type of thing. And uh, it is called, I don't know if I told you guys what it was called. Uh, it's called the. Uh, wow, well, I don't even remember exactly. Sorry, guys. I haven't been using it for a while, but I definitely saved it for you guys. Um, let me get to my wow. Sorry, guys. This is very embarrassing, but I don't. I'm not gonna edit it, and I'm just trying to get to it to remember how I get to my stuff. Okay. Applications that I downloaded. I'm so sorry, guys. I should have this way prepared. It says screen, but I know it is called net front screen. Net front, try it out. It's right there. It's that little pink thing. It says life on. I don't know exactly why it says that, but there you go, guys. It's a 12 minute, 35 minute video. I'm sorry, but I showed you pretty good applications that are running on this. Give those a try. Any questions how to do more to what I have on here, uh, let me know. Give me some comments down below, rate my videos and subscribe and I will always try to make everything a lot better than I usually do. Uh, this was a lot of applications that I had to show you guys, that's why it's a long video. Sorry if it's boring, I'm definitely working on getting better and better videos and a lot of better setups for you guys. Let me know how you guys like it, if you guys got any questions, rate, comment, subscribe you guys.